after we sing our song. I don't know why. Evelyn and her great niece Joni have been singing this song for years. I love you like I do. Years are something Evelyn has more of than any other Minnesotan. And for that, she's being properly celebrated. Thank you, everybody, for coming and greeting me so wonderfully. I just don't know what to say. And no other Minnesotan has as much to tell. She was born in 1907 in Columbia Heights, married in 1932. She lost two husbands along the way. She didn't birth children, but she did create so much love. So Evelyn is my grandma's sister, and my grandma and my dad have passed away. And so we are just very, very close. We're pals, aren't we? Yeah, we sure are. Joni is a regular visitor at the assisted living home. Evelyn, a lifelong seamstress, lived on her own until she was 104. She takes exercise classes, only takes one pill, plays bingo, and still knows how to win. I just played cribbage with her and she skunked me. She never smokes or drank, but she does sometimes indulge. I like ice cream. You lost the salad. Evelyn Klein, making Minnesota nicer for 111 years. Do me. <laughs> oh, I love you all. Okay, I want to give you some perspective on just how special Evelyn is. You saw her sweetheart there. Let's talk numbers now. Evelyn was four when the Titanic sank. When she turned 21, prohibition was in place. When a man walked on the moon, she was 51. And when 9-11 happened, she was 94. What do you guys think? Unbelievable. And she's still very sharp. Yes, sharp yeah. as a tack. She's living history. Yeah. She's living history. Really We're cool. so lucky to have her in Minnesota. Yeah. That's so great. Okay. Happy birthday, Happy, Evelyn. Happy birthday. Congratulations. <laughs> Wish it wasn't so darn hot out I for know. you today. I know. But Evelyn just gave us the green light to eat ice cream. Lots of ice cream. That I thought of too. There we go. I am all in on that. <laughs> today's a great